Hey guys, welcome back. My favorite Easter candy is in the stores, so that means it's also in my belly and it's going on a rock. I'm using a homemade stone from gypsum cement and a silicone mold that's shaped like an Easter egg and we're gonna use these nice pastel spring colors. I'm going to start out by adding alternating stripes of each color and I'm using the width of the brush to kind of determine the size of each stripe. This design is still doable, even if you don't have the silicone mold to make the egg-shaped rock. You could find an oval-shaped rock, or you could use any shaped rock and draw the egg shape on there and then put the stripes, or you could even skip the stripes completely and just do the rest of the design. This is definitely not my first Peeps design. I made this Santorini stone last year in the middle of our COVID-19 lockdown to commemorate Easter 2020. Now that we have those initial stripes on there, I'm just gonna go back one more time with each color and use this as a space where you can kind of clean up those lines. If they look a little crooked, you can straighten them out and just get an extra coat of the paint on there so that it's nice and solid. Now I'm gonna use this chalk pencil to outline the peeps design. And I'm using kind of large rounded rectangles, almost like how you would draw a snowman and putting these shapes together to make the little bunny. This might be Zoom Kindergarten rubbing off on me by putting the shapes together to make a design, but it works. Now I'm gonna take this Liquitex white gesso and do a base coat over the little bunny rabbit. And I'm doing this to help give good coverage over where those stripes are because we're gonna make this guy yellow and yellow can be tricky to have nice solid color. I recently switched over to the Liquitex brand from the Sargent Art gesso brand and I do like the Liquitex better. It gives better coverage using it as a base coat. So it's gonna help cover up these stripes and make sure that our peep is nice and solid. So for the yellow, I'm gonna take this gloss and this matte yellow, they're both bright yellow, and I'm gonna mix them with a couple of drops of the Liquitex. Now I'm doing this because yellow, like I said, is tricky to get nice solid coverage. And I've noticed that the glossy enamel bottle of paint is really good for coverage. However, sometimes the glossy paint is tricky with brush marks. So adding the matte in there helps smooth that out. And then the liquid gesso also helps with making the paint nice and opaque.
I did two coats with some touch-ups around the stripes. You might need two or three coats to get your solid coverage. You just do what you need to do. And you might not use yellow. You might use pink. You might do a purple peep or a blue peep. Whatever color floats your boat, but I decided to go with the OG yellow. To get that sugar coated look, I'm going to add some yellow glitter paint to the peep. And this yellow glitter paint is actually tinted yellow, so it's going to further help with the opacity of our peep. You can brush this on one coat or two coats, whatever you like, how much sparkle you care to have, but this gives it that true kind of granulated sugar look like the real peeps have. take this Sakura Pigma fine line pen and just outline the peep. I love this pen for fine line detail because it bends kind of like a paintbrush does and it's just really good if you want a really nice fine black line. Now I'm going to take this chocolate brown paint and a dotting tool and just add the two eyes and the mouth. take this Folk Art Extreme Hologram Glitter Paint and a disposable eyeliner brush and add a really thin line to the bottom of each stripe. So I'm putting it consistently in the same spot on all of the stripes and I kind of debated about doing this because I figured the peep was sparkly. Did I need to add more sparkle? But I'm really glad that I decided to do this because it kind of takes the design to the next level. And it may have justified my addiction to glitter paint, but hey. I think most people I know either love or hate eating peeps, but maybe if it doesn't involve eating it, you love it on a rock. I love all peeps, edible or otherwise. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the alert bell so that you don't miss future uploads. Thanks for stopping by to watch and I'll see you next time.